Well, hey guys, how you doing? It's Danielle Nicole here. It's Saturday, so what does that mean? That's Weight Watchers Day, weigh-in day. Um, <laughs> I just got home just a little bit ago. Um, today I went to the 10 o'clock meeting, dropped my daughter off at work, went to the 10 o'clock meeting, stopped at Starbucks, and went to Trader Joe's again to get a refresh on some of the things that we loved last week such as the shrimp burgers we love the shrimp burgers with the garlic sauce love them they're 6.99 a box for four of them so they're not cheap but everyone seems to love them and you can saute them in a pan and so that was a hit so i got some refresh on trader joe's i won't show you that haul because most of it was stuff um we bought last week and i just we ran out of it we wanted again and the kids are home for summer so anyway and then i had to take my daughter to a graduation party so it is nearly it is two o'clock <laughs> and I'm just sitting down. I just had lunch. I had four of these Trader Joe's chicken tacos. So I have one left. So dipping it in that salsa verde sauce. So I thought I better eat lunch really quick before I do my video. And I'm still out of breath because I've been running, but I wanted to tell you how my weigh-in went. You know, sometimes YouTubers make you wait till the end of the video to tell you the weight. I'm not doing that. Most, most of my friends and everyone doesn't do that. So I'm not going to do that either. If you want to watch my whole video, you can watch it if you want. <laughs> but I do have some good tips for you about my meeting after my weigh-in. So how did I do on the scale this week? I'm going to put it right here. I am down 1.4 this week with a total down of 4.8. So very happy with that. Down 1.4 is very good for me. I don't expect to lose every time. In fact, our leader talks about that at both of the meetings I've talked to, uh, been to that don't expect it. It's look, you have to look at the long haul of your weight loss journey. Um, it's not week to week to week to week. It's the whole long haul. Look at it, it as the big picture, not every single week. Oh, I'm not doing bad because you have a couple of, you know, rough weeks or whatever. And even if you don't have rough weeks, sometimes we just gain. So I have to remember that myself. I, um, I'm out of breath and tired now, but I don't w want to forget some of the tips that she gave to us today. I really like this leader. I can tell she's very, very popular. Um, she is excellent. And I, um, met a member today and he actually lives around the corner from me in my city which is hilarious so he does the drive as well and he really likes the leader so it's worth it to him because he really likes her and i see why because i really like her as well when i got in there today she was engaging she was sitting down with other members talking to them i'm a little bit shy the first couple of meetings i have to warm up a little bit so i was, I was a little bit quiet but i spoke you know participated a little bit as the meeting went on just because even i can be shy sometimes um have places I have to get a feel for things. I guess I'm human like anybody else. So um, let me see. She's also, she also, I told her how far I'm driving and where I'm from. And my old leader near my home that I used to go to, I guess she's substituting for an upcoming meeting. So I might be able to see her. And so that was kind of cool. And she did something interesting today. She put us in three different groups. And at first I was like, oh no, group work. I feel like I'm in school. But I knew she would probably come up with something good. And she did. She put us in, I took some notes. She put us in three different groups because the weekly recap this week is disruptions in our life, like holidays and going to restaurants and get togethers. Like how do you handle these disruptions in being at home and being in control of things? Um, and some of these tips we talked about in our group would be helpful to anyone, whether you're on a weight loss journey or not. Um, so one group was, if you're on a road trip, what are you, what are you going to do to get through the road trip? If you um, go to a restaurant, what are you going to do? Our group was, what if you're gone for the whole day at an event? What are you going to do? How are you going to plan things out? where you can still stay on plan and not just say, oh, I'm off of Weight Watchers because I'm at a wedding. Well, you can still be on Weight Watchers and be on your your journey and still be at the wedding and plan things out um, so you stay healthy. So um, let me tell you some of the things we came up with. One, one lady in my group talked about um, if you know what area you're going into, research what restaurants are around there. She brought up McDonald's. She knows she can get a chicken sandwich or a small hamburger. 
figure out where you're going and what's around you and if there's anything you're familiar with and you can kind of plot things out. Um, she also talked about incorporating activity during your event. So maybe you're going to a graduation party. Many of us are going to graduation parties. After you eat, you and your friend can go take a walk around the neighborhood and just get some movement and mobility in. So incorporating our lifestyle things that we're trying to make a lifestyle um, into those events. Um, packing food. Jones Point Plate does that all the time when she goes on her road trip. She packs food, she makes little breakfast sandwiches, has her shrimp cocktail. I've always admired her for doing that. Um, if you're going somewhere and you're not familiar with the restaurant or you want to order something really good that you just want to have, um, you could see if they could give you a half portion or you could immediately ask for a box and put half of it in the box. My leader said getting the box move doesn't work for her because as soon as she gets home, she'll be eating it at the kitchen counter, which is what most of us do. Oh, I'm going to just have half in front of everybody. I'm on Weight Watchers. I'm going to have half. Then you get home and you're like, oh, I'm still hungry. And you just, you still eat the whole thing. If you're going to eat the whole thing, eat the whole thing. One person said that um, she just takes it in the box because her friends will say you're going to be wasting all that food. And she says to her friends, I'm just going to be taking that home and putting, you know, I'll have it for lunch tomorrow. And she says she throws it in the garbage in her garage. And no one has to know her business or her tricks. Hey, whatever works for people, right? We always worry about throwing away food and wasting, you know. We we're all raised, don't waste food. But sometimes you have to make a decision that's best for you. Um, my leader orders first. So, so if she doesn't hear someone talking about this, that, and the other, she orders something that she wants that helps her stay on plan or, you know, whatever, and she goes first. So she's not tempted to do things that other people are doing. That's so easy to do. Another option was to order an appetizer, um, order water. Um, what else did they say? Uh, oh, if you're out and about and you're busy and you forget to track, take a picture of your food, then track it later. It's easy to forget what we eat. What else? I hope I'm not forgetting anything. Some easy ones to go to is Jimmy John's and Subway. You can get a four or five point meal at those two places. That's why we do Jimmy John's a lot on a Friday when I do Weight Watchers on Saturday. So everyone's happy and, and I get my unwitch and all is good. Although we haven't done that in the last two weeks. Um, what else do we talk about? Packing grapes, they're easy to have and handy to have a protein. Um, our leader talked about how, you know, have snacks in your car with you. She went to a gas station and was going to get this little protein box type of thing. It would have been 17 points, but if she brought her own cheese stick, her own turkey stick, and some grapes and stuff, she could have had it for just a couple of points instead. So healthy, but still got that look of what she would have gotten at that gas station, which would have cost more as well. So the, the week, well, she mentioned again, her only rule is that you don't quit. She just says this plethora of stuff. Like I started writing things down on this folder today um, just to remember some of these things she was saying. But just planning for disruptions. We have a lot of disruptions. You know, we have Father's Day tomorrow. Out to eat for breakfast. You know, I've already thought about that. Um, just ways to be able to enjoy your life and make this a lifestyle and not a four-letter word. And I'm not going to say that word. You guys all know that four letter word, but making it a lifestyle where we stay healthy. And just going to this ladies meetings, I thought to myself the whole time, even if you're not on Weight Watchers or you're not, you don't need to lose any weight and you're healthy and everything, what you're doing is working for you. I'm telling you, going to her meetings, it was really, I thought who couldn't learn from this? I felt like I was taking in so much and learning so much. And I think that's why I, when I, when I kind of do it on my own, I don't do as well because it's easy to flub this, flub that, change the weigh-in date. I mean, I'm just not real motivated or self-motivated. And so these meetings really pump me up. Um, she said something else, a nearby center is closing and all those people are gonna be shunted over to our meetings in that area on Saturdays and things like that. So she's anticipating some of those people are gonna show up next week kind of upset just kind of like how I was upset at first. I mean, a lot of people are at Weight Watchers because they're taking away meetings. So I guess that's gonna happen to a nearby city. Um, they're, they, um, the rent was too high and you know it just wasn't profitable and you know they're losing leaders in this and that. And um, 
they're going to be coming over to our meeting, so we've got to welcome them and everything. But we're going to gain one evening during the week, so that's good. So I will now have an evening um, meeting that I could go to. So, um, yeah, so it was, I felt very excited when I left there. I felt good when I went there. They still have the recipe cards. I let my husband see it. It was for like a steak burger recipe on a card today. It's in the other room. Um, but I get my recipe cards and um, I had my coffee there and it takes me about a half hour to get there in the morning. Coming back is a way bigger journey because um, I stop at Trader Joe's or it's just worse traffic. Today, going to the later meeting made it harder for me to get back because of traffic, but I can always go to the earlier meeting depending on what's happening in our lives. So bottom line, guys, I made the right decision. I have work for now paying for my... Um, uh, monthly meetings. I'm paying for gas and things like that and my time to go out there. That's on me. Um, but I definitely made the right decision. Is it easy to go out there? Is it quite the journey? It is, but it's also time for myself in the car. I can listen to my music. I can have my coffee. I can do a little grocery shopping and things like that. Is it a little more wear and tear in my car? Yeah, it is. But um, I... I feel very inspired by this leader. I like her just as much as my last leader. They're they're both phenomenal. I can tell that they're very loved and treasured. This one specifically sits down in the chairs and was talking to everybody and is very engaging and put us in those groups. It wasn't intimidating to be in those groups so we could get tips from everyone on how to brainstorm these disruptions that throw us off track or make us feel bad and how we can just go and enjoy those things. You know, have that cake at your granddaughter's birthday party or whatever. We, we have to live our lives, right? Um, and she just, I just really like her. So I appreciate all of your support with going back. So I'm down 4.8. Down uh, total, down 1.4 this week, and I've been tracking very, very well. I didn't go to the gym this week, but I've had a lot of movement with, um, went to the mall and did a lot of walking, been doing a lot of landscaping, and so I've got a lot of steps in this week, just haven't gone to the gym. So that's a goal for me to get back to the gym. Today, I'm going to work on some landscaping out there. We have lots of weeds. It rained recently. So if you guys have any tips on disruptions, road trips, graduation parties, being away all day at events, um, restaurants, put them down below so we can all share and help each other. Those are just the, the highlight ones that were brought up at my meeting today. I always will call it a meeting, not a workshop. So we can help each other. So wishing you guys a great week. You'll see my video tomorrow. It's a collab. And um, yeah, I'm wishing everyone a happy Father's Day out there. And I wish you the rest of the, a good rest of the weekend. And thanks for watching. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe. You know the ordeal. If you have, uh, know anyone that will enjoy this, go ahead and share. And you guys have a great week and I'll see you soon. Bye, honey bunnies.